Yep, now close the door. Yep, put seatbelt on first. Good boy. Let's go ahead and practice turning it on before we get outside. Here, I'm on get it so you don't pinch your fingers. That's kind of a... Hit this button here, buddy. This turns on your lights. Oh, wait, 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 wait. How does it turn this way? Uh, first, this controls which way. But put this on. Flip this button. This turns these lights on, and your headlights on. Well, they're turning the headlights on. Yeah, but I didn't see them on before that. Now they're on. <laughs> How did they do that? Stuff here too. Want to try hitting this? That yeah, I'm I get out. Here's the remote. All you do is hold the up and down button for three seconds, then turn the power wheels on. You'll see flashing. It'll connect, and then you'll be able to go forward and back on the left, on the right hand sides, left and right. S is for speed. There's three different speeds. P is for park. Keep in mind, reverse only goes in half speed. Distance is not real far, but decent amount. Yeah, watch where you're going though. Let's drive back to mommy so we get your helmet. The build of the ride on is very solid. I was very impressed and it's something that I think will last years and years. So the frame and everything is great. And I really recommend this because this is a great vehicle to upgrade throughout the times. Once he needs a little more speed, we can go ahead and do a drill battery conversion and throw some more speed in there. For now though, he's still learning and he's probably okay where he's at. We did have a helmet on during the video, but I don't really feel it was necessary. It was more just a precaution because he's so new at driving it. Once he gets a little more experienced, I'll we'll probably just take it off. We did intervene with the remote a few times, as you'll see in the video. It does help to get him around and get him the idea of how things work because he can see the patterns that we're doing with the remote and mimic them. However, we did give the remote to his brother for a little, and that might not have been the best idea. The traction's really good. You're looking at him driving around in a yard that is about halfway to needing to be cut. So pretty thick grass and it handles it pretty well. My yard may look very level, but it's not. It's very hilly and you can't really tell that from the film. So you can see certain points where the vehicle does try a little harder when we have it on the lower speed. When you're using the remote, if it does look like it's going really slow, just hit the S button to speed it up. There are three speeds and you can go ahead and make it go faster. This is a 12 volt, all one battery. It's really nice. It just plugs in under the seat, as we showed in the assembly video that we'll link up top in case you're curious. Stores very well, easy to charge. The charger will show red and then when it's charged, it will show green showing it's completely charged. There are headlights and lights on the roll bar at the top. The taillights do not work and the side mirrors are not real. However, you could probably find little mirrors on Amazon that just stick on top of it to make it look even better, which I do plan to look into. Got a little toolbox area in the back so you can put stuff. 
And the access to the battery is not very accessible because it's blocked off with the seat and the toolbox. But then you'll just plug the power under the seat because you don't even need to get to that area, which is really nice. Overall, very solid vehicle. For 12 volts, it handles traction really well. It went at a decent speed. I would like a little more, but at the same time, we were doing it in grass, which is one of the harder things to do it in. So we really want to try to get it in like a macadam area, like a park or a basketball court or something to see if it gets more speed. But we haven't been able to get out to do that yet. We'll probably throw another video up in a clip once we get that up so you can get a better idea. The assembly overall wasn't bad. We haven't put a lot of these together. So we're still getting used to the process and my wife's usually the one that assembles them. But here you can see the max distance of the remote, just to give you an idea. I really like the wheels, the traction. I think they're very good, which is a big thing. I don't think they're going to wear down easy at all, which is awesome. The doors are a little tough to get open and closed. You have to be very careful he doesn't pinch his fingers. But at the same time, he doesn't need to open the doors to get in and out. The runtime seems pretty solid. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to run the battery all the way down yet just because he a lot of times he'll just park it and get in and out. <laughs> but he really does enjoy it. Had him ride it again yesterday. Didn't want to get off. And yeah, I think it's really worth it for the price. I think it's a steal because you're not going to find something this good at this price anywhere else. And like I said, the build is great. So this is going to last years and years, even after I start throwing some upgrade parts on it and pretty much trick it out later on. So I can't wait to do that. But at the same time, I do have to wait till he starts getting a little older so he can handle the speed. His brother already has a 24 volt and he whips around the yard. <laughs> so there's a video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you are interested, the links are down below. I also have a full article right up on rcrideoncars.com. Hope you enjoy it, and thanks so much for watching.